Hello, everyone. Um, so I'm going to be showing you how to register on the LMS. It's a very straightforward process, um, but just take your time and look at the process and try and follow along as I do it. For those who are still asking, the LMS stands for Learning Management System. It is a platform we'll be using to uh, pass across important messages and to assign you um, you know, assignments to give you assignments and to grade your assignments. And you can also see your progress on the LMS. So what you do is to visit waiting.zuribot.com. That is waiting.zuribot.com. You get redirected to this particular address here. You click on register and here you fill in your details. So I'm going to enter mine. I'm going to use my name as username. You can use anything as username, but make sure you use, I mean, for you, try to use what you have on Slack as a username. So it's easy to um, identify you on the LMS also. Uh, so I'm going to do that also, take my own advice. Uh, mail. I'm going to say 56, which is not true, but you know, why not? Uh, here you can select which part you want to follow, either the part time or the full time. Note that what you select here is not permanent yet. Once you select and you enter the elements, we might still ask you to leave whatever part you choose, especially if you choose the full time and we see that you are not able to follow up with the full time. Um, if you also decide to change, you have one week, which is this new week that we are in right now. You can change your track within that week. But apart from that, you will not be able to change anymore. So I'm going to select uh, full time for now. Select my level as beginner. Employment is unemployed, obviously. Um, education is masters. Then here you enter your email address, which is the email address you have registered on Slack and the email address you've been using for the program so far. Make sure your username, your email address is consistent. So I'm going to enter my email address. Right now, I'm going to just use the email address that I created. And enter your password. Please make sure your password is something you can remember. And here you just select how you heard about the program so that we can just know our best source for fetching students. I'm going to select Zuri Twitter and click on register. Now, after that, you will be required to complete this page of your profile, which is providing an alternative email address. Almost everybody has an alternative email address. So get make sure you enter your alternative email address so it's easier to identify you in case we need to reach you. So for those who keep saying that, oh, I have a problem with my email address, can I see changes? This is where you enter your new email address. So the alternative email address will be here and enter your phone number. Make sure you use if this format I'm using. If you are not in Nigeria, make sure you enter your code first, country code, um, then you enter your phone number. Your country, select your country. I'm going to select my country. The nationality, select it. Um, I'm Nigerian. My address, I'm going to enter. Because I don't want to share my address. Now, physical disability, you can leave this blank if you have no disability. If you have one, just enter the details here so we know what we are dealing with and how we can help you, um, how best we can help you in the program. So now I'm going to click on save. And after that, it brings me to the next page. Now, um, you can skip this next page, it's fine, but you can also fill it. Now I'm going to skip it so I don't take too much time. I'm going to also skip this and skip this also. And I'll, I'll complete this one, uh, just my OS is Mac OS. Okay, and after filling that, I'll click on save. 
and how we you'll be redirected to your dashboard. Now, when you get to your dashboard, it's very straightforward. You have um, your current stage, which is stage zero for now. Your final, the total stage in the program is stage um, is ten stages. Your current point, as you can see, you already have one task pending. I'll be showing you, um, and your track and course. Now you should see that you have two tracks and one course for now. Your tracks are um, the general track and um, there is a general track and there is a specific track you have chosen, which is either full-time or part-time. And if you come down here, you will already see some posts uh, where you can open them and get more information about them. You can also react to them or drop a comment here. Uh, and you can read about the workspace rules and some frequently asked questions in this address here. And then you can see you already you should already have one task on your dashboard if you do if you did the registration properly. So click on open or view, and you will see the task here. Now for this task, you are supposed to um, enter your name. In my own case, I'm going to enter my name. And my student ID, I, I need to go back and open my get my student ID, which is on my on my dashboard. This is my student ID. Copy that and then come back here. And finally it says, right, I am ready to get started. And I'll just enter that here. And this is all you need to do for the first task. It is just for us to know that you have actually completed your LMS registration. So click on submit. Please read this. It is not reversible, and that means anything you submit cannot be taken back. And I've submitted my task successfully. So if you check, it has been submitted, and this is what I submitted. So this is all you are required to do for now. Um, once your task is graded, you will see your points here, and you will get an email notification notification when new tasks get published.